What's poppin' dudes? How we doing? Happy Monday? I know Monday suck, but this is a good day, man. They finally dropped the event article. <clears throat> Jesus. They finally dropped the event article, like the official official, the official article on the Elder Scrolls Online.com, the main website for White Strix Mayhem coming up. It is a good day, dude. There's only two PvP events during the year. Um, so this is exciting for you PvP mains. Also, if you guys are not really into PvP or you haven't tried it, this is a good time to go in and do it. Just look up like a basic PvP build for your class online and just give it a try. You're going to get smoked, obviously, like the first few times. But all you have to do is go into Cyrodiil and literally type in zone chat LFG and just join a Zerg. If you don't know what that means, a Zerg is basically just like a massive group of people that are just going through the land of Cyrodiil like like a tsunami and you're just rolling over people you're literally going to get alliance points and objectives done and kills just for being present if you really don't want to even fight or anything equip a resto staff and heal people in that group and you'll build up alliance points fast as hell dude that's that's how you do it okay so i just want to read through this article it is exciting this looks like an absolutely sick style here it says engage your fellow players within cyrodiil the imperial city and battlegrounds during White Streaks Mayhem, an in-game event to receive in-game rewards, XP, and more. Mayhem returns to Tamriel. The White Streaks Mayhem returns to Tamriel this Thursday. We guessed it. February 22nd at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and runs until March 5th, about 12 days at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me check actually really quick. March 5th, yeah, March 5th is Tuesday. Um, throughout this event, you will enjoy boost to alliance points, XP, and Telvar stone gains in addition to earning some unique in-game rewards by participating in the various PvP modes. So two things with this for you, PV or you PvE mains, because the PvP people know this. Um, you getting alliance points is how you're going to level um, your assault and support skill lines. So if you guys are tanks... If you guys are healers, the ultimates in Assault and Support are used all the time. We have Barrier and Warhorn in there for you, Stamina, or pretty much everybody. You have Vigor, you have Caltrops. Those are two really, really popular skills. You've got Purge in the Support skill line. And then um, the first passive in Assault is also going to give you 30% more movement speed on your mount, which is fantastic. Obviously, you can get that by just doing the little tutorial in Cyrodiil when you hit level 10. But if you haven't done that yet, you can get this super fast doing this, right? We're going to get double XP, but just to confirm, or just to kind of make sure that y'all are on the same page with this, the double XP that you get is only going to be present, you know, once you complete the battlegrounds in Imperial City and in Cyrodiil, right? So it is not double XP all around. They're trying to get you into the game inside of Cyrodiil, right? And battlegrounds and all that. And then Telvar Stones are also going to be um, increased, which is great. You can use these to buy, like, alchemy reagents. You can get the different Zivkin polymorphs. There's a light, medium, and heavy armor polymorph for those. Those are really cool. And they sell for millions of gold. I think they're, like, 250k Telvar Stones. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But if you guys have any other tips and tricks that are always PvPing and stuff, and you want to leave those in the comments down below, please do. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and continue. Ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with your fellow players? Not really. Follow these steps below. Visit the in-game crown store to receive the details on White Strike's Mayhem quest. Travel to your Alliance War faction's main gate in Cyrodiil using the Alliance War menu or a Battlegrounds camp outside of major cities. You're not required to travel to Cyrodiil to kick off the event. Find the NPC named Predicant Mera, or Mera, and continue this quest. If you've already completed this quest before, you're not going to need to do it again, which is great. Complete the quest to receive a complimentary Pelinol's Boon box. That's kind of like your event box, right? Unlike previous years, you'll no longer need to obtain or use the scroll of Pelinol's Ferocity to enjoy the double alliance points, double XP, and double Telvar stone gains. These bonuses will now be shared passively, but again, they put this on the forums when they were testing this event. They have not yet figured out, somehow, how to put this as an in-game buff that is visible on your bar so you know it's there. I don't know why. Don't know how they're struggling with this. Um, considering we have tons of these buffs in the game already, never understood that. Um, but, oh well. Now that the scroll of Pelinol's Ferocity isn't required to enjoy these boons, there will be no way to pick up the scroll anywhere in-game. And those who already own the item will notice it no longer serves any function. Rip. 
sees special rewards. By participating in the White Strikes Mayhem in-game event, you can earn a host of unique in-game rewards, like the new Dova's Duel armor style. That is this guy. This looks absolutely juiced. Not a fan of the shoulders. The shoulders are really small and wimpy. Everything else is pretty sick. The shield looks like a normal size. The sword looks pretty nice with the little hilt right here. But the helmet is nice. Very nice. You can also get the Pelinals Boon Boxes, which is where this style is going to drop. You're probably going to be able to trade that as well and get it on Guild Traders if you don't want to participate, right? You can acquire Pelinals Boon Boxes by participating in the following activities during White Strikes Mayhem. Battleground Quests from Battlemaster Riven. Scouting, Battle, Warfront, and Conquest Missions in Cyrodiil. Elder Scroll Capture and Recapture Quests in Cyrodiil. Town Quests in Vlasterus, Bruma, Cropsford, Chadenol, and Choral. If you guys have no idea where these places are, there are towns in Cyrodiil that are PvE-based. In order to get the quests for these, I believe you have to have captured the town. So... Technically, Cyrodiil is PvE VP, so it's mainly obviously PvP, but there are Delves, there are Sky Shards, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do in Cyrodiil, but again, anytime you go to these towns and you haven't captured it, you want to do the dailies here, whatever, um, you're going to have to cap it, it's going to flag it on the map, so you may get ganked by some sweaty Nightblades or something, but I will. Imperial City Daily Quests, you can also get the box from that. Whenever you open a Pelinal's Boon Box, you have the chance to receive the following items. A parcel of Telvar Stones, a Cyrodiil Repair Kit, Soul Gems, and one of the following. Alchemy Ingredients, a Style Item for your Alliance's Armor Style, Style Item for the Akaviri Armor Style, a Daedric Siege Weapon, a White Strikes Mayhem Book Furnishing, oh boy, a Forward Camp for your Alliance, a Chapter of your alliance's armor motif and you can possibly even get the full book that's pretty cool prismatic rune stones these are worth lots of money if you get these um you can sell these for a lot they're called hekejo that is the um basically the tri stat um piece of the glyph that you need basically the prismatic rune stone chapter for the akaviri armor motif you can also almost get the full uh, sometimes get the full book that's cool you get a small chance to receive one or two fragments of the Alliance Breton Terrier Pet. Everybody, you guys will have literally about 17 of these Breton Terriers in your inventory by the end of this. A small chance to receive a Transmute Geode. This is dumb. Make it a strong chance. In fact, it should be one of these things. Right? It should be one of the things that you get every single time. Every time you get a Pelinal's Boon Box, give me five Transmutes. I'm sick of not having Transmutes, dude. Give it to me. A very small chance to receive a Dova's Duel outfit style page. A Sancrator Sentry weapon style page may drop instead if you've already earned the Dova's Duel style page. Cool. All right. Bonus resources and the Golden Vendor, I assume is what they meant to say. In addition, harvesting nodes in Cyrodo will yield double resources when interacted with during White Strike's Mayhem. Furthermore, the Cyrodiil-based merchant, the Golden Vendor, will offer a fresh stock of CP160 legendary quality jewelry from Cyrodiil item sets. Necklaces will be available during the first weekend, and rings will be available during the second. Keep in mind that the Golden Vendor will not sell monster masks. Wow, look at all these typos in here. During White Strike's Mayhem, and all purchases in her shop must be made with alliance points. Despite her name, she will not accept gold. That's kind of dumb. Honestly, they they definitely should be selling these for gold. I get it's a PvP event and they want you to get alliance points for it, but still, I think it's kind of silly. All right, the Impresario. You can earn up to three event tickets each day by completing the following two PvP activities. You get two from Cyrodiil or Battleground Daily Quests, and you get one from Imperial City. So go to Cyrodiil and Imperial City each day. That means you can earn a total of 39 event tickets by the conclusion of the event. Be aware that you can hold up to 12 event tickets at any one time. We recommend stopping by the Impresario's Bazaar on a regular basis to clear the way for more tickets. This is dumb. And you can't change my mind. They are doing this to increase FOMO so that you basically have to participate in the events if you want the event tickets, right? Because even if you don't want to PvP, a lot of people want the Indrix. A lot of people maybe missed 
at another event and they want the event tickets, right? If I could get 39 event tickets as a pvp -er and only use it when I wanted it, I wouldn't have to participate in events, right? That's the only reason that there's a cap, and it's honestly really dumb. Um, you should be able to get as many event tickets, as many transmutes, I think all the caps across the board. I think caps in this game are done. Are done. Now, if it's a server performance issue, like the furnishing limit, that makes sense. I get it. The inventory limit, get it. Bank limit, sure. I get it. But when you have literal currencies in the game that are capped, that is so stupid to me. It's so stupid. And I've seen all the arguments that thieving, having not like any cap or something would basically throw the market into disarray. Like people aren't making hundreds of millions of gold from flipping items and selling crazy furnishings, doing all this stuff. Nobody's going to make hundreds of millions of gold thieving. It's just not a thing. And it's just, it's silly. Especially, there's no reason for transmute geodes to be, or the transmute crystals to have a cap either. Like, all, all that stuff is really dumb. Anyways, that's my TED Talk. Speaking of, here's the treasures the Impresario has in stock during the event. So you can get all of the Molog Ball Illusion Imp Pet Fragments. You can get the second... Plain Meld's Master Marking Fragment, along with the first one if you missed it during the last event. You can purchase these Dova, Dova's Dual style, style... I can't speak. Dova's Dual Style Pages. These are going to be like five each, like they always are. And then you can get a bag of Veterans Glory containing one of the following. Black Drake Clan Wrap Style Pages. Second Legion, Legion Zero. Legion Zero Vigilas, Vigils. Ebon Seal, Black Drake's Body or Face Markings. Battle Scarred Body or Face Markings, Standard Bearer Emotes, Standard Bearer Staves and Shields, and Tools of Domination Weapon Style Pages. You can also get Group Repair Kits and Companion Guild Commendations. These were nice before they made the change to um, the way that that system works. So before you would do, like when you were doing the Mages Guild Daily, the Fighters Guild Daily, and like the, the Bogrel, the Undaunted Orc guy in the back, not the Pledges, but the other guy, um, you would just kind of get XP and progress towards leveling your companion skill lines in those different um, specialties. But now they changed it to where every single time you do a daily, you go up one level. So there's really no reason for you not to do this. Um, like, I, I would never recommend that you purchase companion guild commendations now because you can literally do the mages guild daily. 10 times on your account in one day, like if you have 10 characters and level from one to 10 on a companion. Like this is a complete waste of tickets. Um, these are nice when you get them randomly, but I think they're a waste. I think this is cool. Like if you don't have any interest in the Dova's dual style pages and you're still trying to collect some of the stuff, like this is nice, a little grab bag. Additionally, the Impresario's assistant will have the following items ready to exchange for your hard earned tickets. The unstable Morpholith pet fragments, the Doom Char Plateau house fragments for you housing enthusiasts. You also have the Indrik Vendor, which will give you the nascent Indrik feathers, and then you can start working on Dawnwood and Spectral, um, and then you've got the two pets. Claim your victory. Compete in glorious combat against your fellow players and earn special rewards as proof of your strength and honor. Are you prepared to test your might against the strongest opponents that Tamriel has to offer? Let us know. Cool. So I think the biggest thing here um, this style is nice. You know, I'm again, I'm not really a fan. I don't know why Zoss does this and the art team does this. I don't know if it's like a like a, a clipping issue or, or whatever, but I don't think anybody really likes... I'm saying anybody. I'm exaggerating. I don't think most people wearing heavy armor like this, like a style like this, want these little baby dinky shoulders. Also... Like, this is the bare minimum size that a shield should be. We need a big-ass shield, dude. Like, quit playing. These little tiny shields, like, come on now. Give us something, like, freaking huge. Like, all the way up to this dude's head, like, a freaking wall next to him. That's what I want to see. We have a few shields that are huge. But, yeah, we need bigger weapons, bigger shields, bigger shoulders. Overall, though, this is a very, very, very cool style. I love this helmet. Um, and I'll definitely be grinding that out. I don't give two shits about the plain meld's master markings. I'll collect them just for collection's sake, but like there's nothing exciting about that. There's some stuff in here I haven't got, but yeah. That style looks fantastic and I'll definitely be participating. I think this is a good time for me to work on PVP achievements because you get double alliance points. So if you're trying to make some gains in your alliance rank, now's the time. Also, if you want to increase the rank of 
assault and support for your alts, this is the time to do it for sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll be including a link down to this article or to this article down in the description below. Appreciate you all watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.